Fernando Will, me and a couple of boys from Australia here to take on the world's best at the D1 All-Stars here in Irwindale. Let's go check it out. Australian drifting was represented on the world stage for the first time in November with three drivers taking part in the invitation only D1 Grand Prix All-Star World Championship event in America. 2007 Toyo Drift Australia Series champ Robbie Bolger and the men who finished second and third in the championship, Christian Pickering and Fernando Whirl, made the long trek to Irwindale Speedway in California to accept their invitation and compete. An early morning practice session gave our boys their first taste of what they were up against. Being here at the World All-Stars event is probably one of the biggest eye-openers we've had at Drifting. Before I came here, I thought that we would give these a run for the money without a doubt, but I tell you what, we're, and the day hasn't been over yet, and I guarantee every one of us Australians will go home with our tail between our legs and learn out what drifting. We'll probably get our best lesson we've ever had here this weekend. Oh, mate, this thing, this thing's a real. It's actually a little bit humbling. I mean, it sets you in your place. You think you're on your game at, at home, but you come to somewhere like this, and you really know where you are. You really know your standards and the standards of the rest of the world. It's, it's phenomenal, to be honest with you. Uh, it's definitely an eye-opener. Uh, the level of driving over here is phenomenal. You've seen it on the DVDs and stuff, but to see it live has definitely blown us all away. The trio secured licenses to compete in the event after impressing judges on the high-speed layout, which incorporated the banking of an oval, joining a 26-car field with drivers from 14 countries. All three progressed through the first round in flying colours, making it through to the top 16. Bolger defeated Canadian Chris Van Galen with ease. And Christian Pickering stunned Formula D star Robbie Nishida. Christian, you know, actually, I, I had no data or nothing. I didn't know how he's going to do. Um, everybody really didn't know. And he's kind of like one of those guys who was in the shadow and just boom, popped up, bit me in the butt. You know? But it was Fernando Whirl who had the crowd on their feet in round one, executing a stunning overtaking move on his Japanese rival, Yoichi Imamura, to win their battle. The next round of battles gave the Australians a much larger task as they went up against some of the biggest names in the sport. Whirl progressed to meet Swedish ace Samuel Hubene, a former champion of the American Formula D series. Bolger drew newly crowned Japanese D1 Grand Prix champ Kawabata and Pickering would face Ken Nomura, a Japanese drifting legend. Aussie. Whilst the three were eliminated, they showed plenty of fight. Pickering losing to Nomura by the narrowest possible margin, 11-9. Uh, I wasn't really nervous at all. I thought it would be, but sort of he just looks over at you and uh, waves and off you go. And yeah, coming around the bowl chasing him, I thought he was going to pull away from me, but I kind of sat right up with him and stuck it to him the whole way on my chase lap. And I uh, didn't get to see much on the lead lap, but yeah, it was close, 6 four, 5 all, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. It's um, been some experience for us. Uh, we needed a couple of more days at the track, but that's not my excuse. Um, I was definitely beaten by a better driver, so um, what else can we say? Every one of us here from Australia gave this the best nudge we could, and we all got through one battle, so we can't be too bad, but I'm sure we'll come back to fight another day. I was just thinking when I first bought my car, like two years ago, that I would never be at somewhere like this, and two years later, here we are. It's been an absolute experience. I just have to thank all the guys that are behind me, Autoslot and Industry, and and Bridgestone as well, as well as uh, uh, Midnight Club as well. They, they gave us a lot of support to get out of here, but uh, the whole experience has been absolutely, oh, mate, it's mind blowing. American star Vaughan Kitten Jr. went on to win the event in the Falcon Ford Mustang, defeating Japanese legend Kuma Kubo in the final. The boys did us proud of the event and showed what the Aussie drifters are capable of on the world stage. Go Aussie!